Hi you guys, I know it's been a while since I did my videos, it's been extremely hard, been busy, but anyway, I'm here to talk about hair, not weave, your real hair. See, I just washed my hair, I'm going to show you guys the products that I use to wash my hair, I just washed my hair, and I didn't think it was like a good, um, I didn't think you guys cared to see me wash my hair, because I've seen some people on YouTube who takes like actually take the time to wash the hair and I didn't care to do that so anyway see um my hair is naturally curly like jerry curl curls um well like dripping jerry curl curls and um so when it I know some um people when they wash their hair it shrinks like a sponge mines don't go that extreme cause that's you know that's too much to, you know, blow dry and stuff like that, unless you have the time. But mine's is like, kind of like, you know, you see the texture of my hair, see? Kind of like straight. Now, obviously, these right here where the tips are straight are from, well, this one is curly. I've, I haven't been uh, perming my hair, but see, you can see, I uh, it's kind of straight. But, you know, I perm my hair, you know, a couple, one time this year, one or twice. I'm trying not to, but, um, see, if you can see the length, it's like this, the length in the back of my hair, it's like this, you see it, like, right here, to my shoulder, the back, back, right here, see, and the sides, right here, the front, right here now the reason why I'm showing you the length see the reason why I'm showing you the length of my hair is because people think that just because you wear weave you don't have any hair they really think that they think just because you don't you wear weave you don't have hair now as you guys could see I have hair now I may not be like the same length as um you know as my weave sometimes kind of like my bob though but now it may not be the same length as my weave but it's pretty long enough for me to do you know if i would stop being so um lazy to do my own hair but anyway um now the problem with wearing weave um, a couple hairstyles, I got lazy, I, I wear weave because, um, it's very time management, especially curly hair in Florida with this humidity, you just put wet and wild spray, you spray it, you shake it, and you go. With my hair, I can't do that, but when I walk around my hair, I usually, you guys seen it a couple times in YouTube video, if I don't put it in braids, then I usually, like a single braid, then I usually put it in a ponytail, but, um... I have yet to do like a fancy hairstyle. The last time I did that was when I was in college. I had like a little bump in the front and then my hair was in a little bun. It was cute, but that was the last, you know, time I actually did style style my hair. But um anyway, wearing weave, see, took out my edges. Well, this one is coming back. And this one is coming back. It may not seem like it, but this one is coming back and see my edges are coming back and I'm gonna tell you what happened when you wear weave and or caps and your edges are lost now you can't use this all the time like dr. miracle he's a miracle the first time you use him and then after that the next time you use him he doesn't work so he's like somebody they use every six months or something like that you don't use him continuously but he is still a good product but he's not an ongoing product so what I use is the scalp scrub organic roots is from organic root stimulation I think Dr. Miracle has one too but I use them is this thing right here and they give you this thing that looks like a toothbrush okay then they give you like three of these cups they give you a little scooping you know like anybody who has kids and ever use like formula milk and they have that little scoop that's what they give you, but I can't find mine. Anyway, so you put a scoop 
or two in there and then you put uh, baking soda in there then you stir then you take it and you you know they say not to scrub I scrub now I don't scrub all hard like you know like you know but I do a little massaging which they told you to massage it in right yeah so you massage it you put it in plastic you leave it in plastic for 15 20 minutes I like to leave mine for 30 minutes a little longer you kind of feel a little tingling or whatever and that means it's working and after I do that I usually do that a day that I'm washing my hair so I you know could wash my hair shampoo and condition my hair now what I used to do um, and I stopped doing that because it took away my edges my edges were way worse and then I got them back from this product and then what I do I got careless again so what I do is when if you're gonna do sew-ins and stuff I know some people like circle weave I still, you know, you're still able to flip back the hair. So I just flip back the hair and I put, you know, some products in it. Now the products that I use on my head, because I don't really like a lot of grease, I use BB Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. I use this one. This one is like a lotion, but you could kind of, it's kind of uh, greasy, but it's not as, you know, thick greasy. So I use that, especially when my hair is in a uh, circle weave I, I just flip the the weave back or tie it back and put the lotion on there and put it in the back too and then also I use um, the organic carrot oil cream like you guys will see a thing with me with cream now I used to use oil grease but I don't really like greasy I, I can't stand that now before I like when I'm braiding my hair to do a sewing now I'll grease it now I'll grease it now I may not excessively grease it because that's not good but I grease it so um but this is what I use also like for my edges now when I'm washing my hair I use dandruff shampoo and then I mixed it with the suave this is mango or any suave suave is pretty cheap you don't have to get expensive shampoo I used to get Garnier for Fruities I love Garnier they're, they're very good especially for african-american hair but I use any anyone now and then I use the conditioner now when I'm using my uh, dandruff I either wash my hair or if I'm very lazy then I use this and I mix it with the triple grow root which one is that root nourishing one I mix it with these and I mix it with the uh, mega growth one the stimulator and I wash my hair wash my hair condition it for like five minutes and then when I'm done conditioner I dr I just damp it I don't dry it all the way I damp it and I um, I mix the conditioner with this one. This one you leave it for the same amount of time of the conditioner. And then um, that's for dry. You have to recognize what kind of hair you have. My hair get dry because obviously I leave it in in the weave, you know, in the sewing for a minute. Then after I wash my hair, I, you know, if you don't have leave-in conditioner, I found out even if you don't have leave-in conditioner, you can still use regular conditioner. So, but don't drown it in condition. Like, just use like a, depending the length of your hair use a couple and I mix it with with um, the triple grow repair rebond building moisturizer remedy leave-in um, toxin it's this green bottle now this is the only bottle that's like green I think like like green and I mix it with this and I put it in my hair now um, if you're a gel person, you go to the dollar store and you could buy this organic oil, olive oil styling gel. Now, when I'm doing my phony pony, I use this. I don't use the other gel. I think it's jam. I used to use jam. Uh, um, I forgot what the other one, but it's like in a black bottle. I don't like that one. That one really takes out your hair. It makes it dry and all that stuff. This one really moisturizes it. That's was really surprising for me that comes in the gel. And remember to... Um, use a big tooth comb when you're